check these out. So I know they look wow. really funky, wow. right? So it really seems to start happening in the fall when it starts to get colder. And as that coldness comes in, people start to feel almost a gloominess, a lack of energy, um, a, a mood shift, if you will. Not necessarily full on, oh my gosh, I'm depressed, but more just like a, ugh. You know, like I'm just not feeling all that great. That can then over the course of time lead to something called seasonal affective disorder or SAD. So seasonal affective disorder is a subtype of depression. And so when we look at the, at the symptoms of SAD, we, there's actually some very specific symptoms. So the first one is um, sadness, right? So feeling down, feeling blue, feeling sadness. Um, that's very common, um, again, during the colder times of the year. The lack of energy definitely hits in next. And when you talk about lack of energy, one of the things that happens is, you know, when we're energetic, a lot of time we're outside, um, we're moving a lot, we're doing sports and activities. And so that lack of energy, we're all confined in our clothes, right? And so it's, it's slowing down our energy. Many people, as you said, overeat. Um, it's a way to feel better. Um, comfort food, of course. Uh, you and I love our comfort food for sure. Um, but the biggest difference between the winter blues and SAD symptoms is the loss of interest in pleasurable activities, right? So things that used to make you laugh, things that you used to enjoy, they're not as fun anymore. And then, unfortunately, sleep becomes an issue as well, right? And so we know that our sleep gets dramatically affected um, by both depression, seasonal affective disorder, as well as the winter blues. Now, COVID has made it, as you, as you identified earlier, Rachel, COVID has made it almost like it's been winter all year long, right? Because many people are confined indoors. They're not able to go outside, no right? And exactly. exactly. They're not doing things they would normally enjoy that would lift their spirits or their mood or their activity level. They've exactly. cut back on all that. So, so it, what's it, in, that, that's a real thing then. It has affected it. One has affected There's you. no question that's a real thing. But what's even more interesting is historically the winter blues, so they would get the worst around January and February, and then they might get a lot better in the April, May because we've got more sunlight, we've got more activity and things like that. Unfortunately, if we still are maintaining this being sheltered in place and, and quarantine, it could actually extend that well past that time frame when we normally see a, a natural lift of winter blues. So it's definitely something that we want to think about. And the good news is, is there's several things that people can do about it. Something that we've talked about before that I wanted to introduce as a new way of doing something, and it's called light therapy. So I know you and I have talked before where you can have an, a light box, right? When you wake up in the morning, if the sun isn't out because you wake up early, well, unfortunately during winter time, you don't get a lot of sun. What's interesting right. is they now make glasses that you can put on with light therapy built in. I'm gonna show you a pair. Um, they're okay. actually quite interesting. So check these out. So I know they look wow. really funky, wow. right? But look, you get the bright light and I can like I can get ready. I've got my green drink over here. Exactly. I believe that they're actually fairly affordable. I think they're under a, a few hundred dollars. But remember, these okay. are used for people with seasonal affective disorder. For people who have just the winter blues, they can do a few other things before they get to a, a product like this.